Hello everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Been doing some shooting, family stuff around the house. You know, the usual things that happen when you have a life besides your hobby. Um, but what I wanted to review over tonight was a... And actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do two videos tonight. Uh, the first one is going to be a review of a gun bag that I just recently picked up. And then the second review is going to be showing different sized gun bags and then the firearms that would be appropriate for those bags. Because if you guys are like me, you know, you, you look online, they've got, you know, 24 inch bags, 30 inch bags, 36 inch bags, 42 inch bags, whatever. But I'm going to kind of put that in perspective. I'm going to show you some of the rifles that go inside some of the bags. I've got three different sizes that I'll show you. Uh, and hopefully that'll help you guys when um, uh, you decide to buy bags or up, upgrade bags or, you know, if you're looking what's going to be the best fit for the gun that you have. Um, so, again, if you like the videos, you know, if you like the channel, uh, if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. If you guys have any comments, I try to answer all comments or questions that you guys post to the channel. Uh, again, I am not sponsored by anybody. Uh, this is just my research and my opinion on the things that I go over uh, and it's just a you know I figure if I have the questions about some of the stuff maybe you guys have questions about it as well which is why I do these videos so Christmas time I was looking for a new laptop bag and my family got me a uh, a backpack from a company called Tacticon which I'd never heard of before uh, they picked it up off of Amazon it was a, a tap tactical backpack uh, 40 liter. It was kind of big, but I've got a 15-inch laptop for work and then the other stuff that I put in there. So it, it fills out pretty well. It, it, it's obviously not packed, but it's got a lot of pockets. It's well thought out, and the quality was fantastic. I was really impressed with the quality. I would put it on par with uh, like a 511 backpack or something along that lines. I mean, that's that's how good the quality was. And I've got 511 gear. A lot of the stuff that I, uh, a lot of my clothes, my pants, my shorts, it's all 511 stuff. So I, I love the brand. So I was looking for a, um, I, I was looking through their webpage, the Tacticon webpage, and I started looking at their gun bags. And they only carry two. They have a 42 inch and they have a 36 inch. The 36 inch intrigued me. Now they're kind of pricey on the website. They're like a 170 bucks, but they also have a 50% discount. So with tax tag shipping, I don't know, it was around 90 bucks or a little bit over 90, which puts it in the, the high mid to the low high tier price point for some of the bags that are out there. Probably in the same categories like Savior. Um, some of your other brands are more expensive, but I wanted to get it, wanted to check it out, and there was one specific reason that I bought this bag, because a lot of the, the items with the bag were the same on some of these other double rifle bags that you'll see, but there was one specific point that I really liked, which is what sold me on it. So anyway, they ship it to you in a box. Um, the free shipping does not apply to their uh, 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 gun, uh, to their gun bags. The free shipping is everything else on their site except for this. So I think shipping was, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks or something like that to get it. Um, it came beat up, obviously, but welcome to UPS. So just basically Tacticon 36. They call it their battle bag. And the color I got was the Coyote. They have it in black, I think green. Um, they might have it FDE, but I went with the, the Coyote bag. Which, um, when I do another review, I'll show you how this compares to a, to an FD. It's a little bit darker, got a little bit more brown to it, it appears. But I like the shade. Uh, let me turn off these lights. They have too much. There, it's a little better. Okay, not so much reflection on the bag. Actually, I'll take this one off too. Okay, so there you go. So that, that gives you a truer representation of what the color is for this bag. So, it's got, if you guys have any of the double rifle bags, are you familiar with the, the double rifle bags? They've all got pouches on the front. Um, there's multiple, see I still have the tag on, I haven't taken the tag off yet. Um, you've got 
you know, your standard pouches in here on both sides. With your ties if you need to tighten them up. Then you've got your double in the, sec in the uh, center. Again, it's a much bigger compartment. And then once you get through that one, then there's a top... Well, first of all, there's two side pockets here. Underneath your Molly. There's two side pockets. Uh, you could put a suppressor in there. You could put... I'll probably put uh, NFA paperwork in here. Because I always try to carry that with me just in case there's any questions. Um, your next compartment here. Opens up nice. You've got... These are Velcro compartments. These are for mags. A, uh, AK mags, AR-15 mags will fit underneath these nicely. Okay, so you've got, you've got plenty of room for your mags. This is also a Velcro pouch. In here you've got a zipper bag. You've got another large zipper bag here. So you got you got plenty of compartments and stores. It. Hell, there's so much in here I'll probably forget what I put in each bag and I'll have to search for it when I go to the range. Um, the pulls are very nice. They're good nylon. All the ends are burnt. There's no pulling. The zippers are very, very strong. They're metal. They're not plastic zippers. Now you got your double compartment, which I'm going to get into next. Now I will say the padding is very... This padding is very thick. I don't know if you can see that, but that's that's an inch of foam padding right here. And it's the same on this side. So the bag itself is padded very, very well. This is also doubled, the center. So this is also about uh, an inch thick of padding. And what's kind of cool, I'll show you here in a second, why this is doubled. But anyway... So you've got your standard Velcro straps, and then you got your pouches for your for your barrel or for the stock. However you want to do it, Velcro straps to tighten it. Same on the back side. What's kind of cool about this is this is snapped and Velcroed in. You can take this out, use it for a, a um, uh, like a shooting rug or cleaning or or whatever you want to do. Silicon thing, um, which is neat. My other bag, this doesn't come out. So this is kind of a cool idea that they've added. So it gives you a good, um, good sized padded pad to take out if you want to. Um, if you see the need for that. All right. Now, everybody's saying what? What is the inside? Is that what you like the best out of the whole thing? No, it's not. The reason I bought this bag. Is the back comes with shoulder straps however they're packed away inside the back so you don't have them dangling off the back of your bag or you, bag or you don't have to you know pull them off and throw them into a pocket in the bag if you're going to carry them or leave them at home or whatever you want to do the shoulder straps are always with you but they've put them in this compartment in the back side, which is awesome. So you can just pull this out. There's your backpack strap. You're off to go. When you're not using them, just throw it back in here. Zip it up. It's out of the way. When you're walking, you're not going to be catching on it. That's the best thing I like about this. So anyway... Um, Again, there's mollies. you got plenty of room. You've got tightening straps all the way around it if you want to snug it up. Um, it's, it's a very well-made bag, and I like the, the material on it. I like the color of it, um, and the size is perfect what I was looking for. So, like I said, it's kind of a quick and dirty review on this particular uh, Tacticon bag. Uh, some of the things that I really liked about it. hope you guys found this... Uh, this review helpful. 
Look for the next review if you're interested in the different sizes, if you, uh, you know, have any interest in things like that. I'll try to do some more gun reviews here in the near future. I've got a couple of um, firearms that I want to do a review on that I haven't done yet. So I'll, actually, I have quite a few. Uh, I'll try to roll those out. And again, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment. I'll answer to you. And um, hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks. See ya.